welcome back to getting comfy. Uh, we uh, are your hosts. Butts X. Why the hell are you telling me this over the S titties. Ass and titties. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I'm just <laughs> yeah. Did you just now realize what you were watching when you said that? <laughs> no. I'm remembering the first time we tried to record this game. Oh yeah. And this scene. I kept trying to physically so. lean to get a peek. <laughs> <laughs> Roger's just physically leaning in the same way that people like playing a racing game or something lean into their turns. Roger's like leaning off to the side <laughs> trying to get a better... It's a vain hope, you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, Roger, I, I have to I have to ask you. Yes. You and you an ass man or a breasts man? Mm, definitely an ass man. Can you tell me why you were an ass man? I couldn't say why. Because you can't just you can't just come up with some half-assed answer like because it was there. I legit or, I legit can't say why. It's just something I prefer. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh good, you're shirtless. Now the game's See. better. See, <clears throat> I, I too myself am an ass man. I mean, but, we, could, we could go on about how plush your ass is, but... Hey, whoa, whoa, pet your cat. But you see... There you go. When... <laughs> as humanity evolved, before they gained the ability <clears throat> to walk on two legs, what they saw... What man saw before him was the ass. Okay. But... As humanity gained the ability to walk upright on two legs... The ass was no longer, you no, know, at eye level. It, it became more hidden from view. Okay. The the breasts developed as, as nothing more than an ass substitute. Okay. And, you know, that that modesty of of being hidden away like that, gives the ass an an erotic quality that that the breasts just out in the open just completely lack if you if you were to ask me if I prefer the original or some imitation then you're damn straight I would say I prefer the original I am an ass man this is very heated where did this come from <laughs> I'm actually ripping this from a manga <laughs> uh, <laughs> Getting comfy. We're hundred percent originals. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> if I had a nose that grew and I lied, grow fifty feet in a second. Yeah, it's a it's a manga. I've been like, I was just binging everything of it that was out last weekend. It's called Prison School, and it's about like. Lowbrow humor, really lowbrow humor. But if you're if you're in the mood for you know just if you're shitty, watching this show, <laughs> if you're in the mood for shitty pathetic like adolescent sex humor stuff, it is pretty funny. But the premise is these five guys somehow wind up getting into a female exclusive high school and like it's co-ed dorms and shit and they get the bright idea to go peeking at the girls as they're taking a bath and they get caught and this school has an underground student council that you know what doles out all the punishments and they also have a prison built into the like just this small prison building built into the school what? on the school grounds so they throw the five dudes in jail and it's just all these stupid antics of them like trying to break out and shit <laughs> and 
the the underground student council wants wants them out because they don't you know it's a school full of girls they don't want five pervert guys in there so they come up with these plans to like goad them into causing more trouble so they get expelled okay and they can't just expel them on the basis that they're guys no because it's like this new like they're starting up a they're starting to try and turn it into a co-ed school uh, and they're trying to make it not but okay. but the chairman or the chairman of the school is is a dude and it's the the father of the head of the underground student council and he's just like a total fucking typical pervert guy too like he's fucking hilarious because he's like super buff and like proud of everything every aspect of himself except his you know well he's kind of proud of it but he he's an ass man and on the day that they're going to be expelled because of, you know, the student council's plot to get them riled up and cause trouble and expel themselves, okay. they they try to come up with an argument that it was all a plot to give them an extension on their expulsion to, you know, give time to prove it and whatnot and get it over overturned. So, they... They get the chairman involved, and he he lines them all up, and he he asks the important question: <laughs> tits or asses? And oh, I've been doing a little ding ling ding. They they don't know what to answer because they weren't expecting this. So like, is this is this a joke? Is this is this the test? Is this? He's like, I've. I've lived by a personal motto that there's no such thing as an evil ass man. <laughs> and you know, they're they're struggling to come up with an answer. But the the main character all of a sudden is like, wait a minute, I remember something. He cause he saw the the chairman like trying to bury something at some point. And it turned out it was like a bunch of pictures of like Brazilian girls asses and stuff because his daughter was pissed at him that she kept walking into his office and finding him staring at them what? so he's like wait a minute I know the answer he's looking for I can I got this I can answer this question I prefer asses <laughs> and then the chairman's like so so we agree but but the real question is, why? Uh oh. It's like, oh shit! I've never thought about this. And, and the truth be told, I'm I'm a tits man. Like, I could come up with millions of reasons why I prefer boobs over over butts. But I, I I just don't know what he wants. And then he's just you know struggling to think of something. And then he he sees uh the vice president of the student council like. He sees her her breasts peeking over a window because she's trying to like spy in and see what the fuck's going on, like why they're why the chairman's even listening to them and how they're gonna try and get out of this crap because she's pissed. Okay. And he all he sees is just the top of her boobs. He's like, wait a minute, I thought I just saw an ass in the window. <laughs> wait a minute, no. It's the vice president's ass like breasts! <laughs> Wait! I got it! <laughs> and he comes up with this whole fucking <laughs> spiel about how the how the boobs are just a substitute for the ass. Oh my god. I feel like I should read this. <laughs> it's Like I said, it's just it's fucking lowbrow pervert humor, but I mean sometimes that's just what you're in the mood for. There's there's a guilty pleasure behind it. Oh, that explains the fire extinguishers. Yeah. Huh. We learned something. <laughs> Cause I've never been set on fire before. I have a short Not in this game anyway, I've been set I've been set on fire in your life. Me hundreds too. of times. Not hundreds, but I've had gasoline on my 
on my shoes and then wait seriously yeah and uh, it... I have a there's a story from this oh I was just joking <laughs> no and I wasn't I was well, I'm legit serious I would... do tell um my friend and I who's gonna be my best man <laughs> <laughs> we're we're tinkers okay we love tinker stinker not tinker stinker just, just regular tinker. We love to take shit apart or just make something. Uh, so what he did was he made, or uh, this we wanted to make a very crude jet engine. Very, very crude. So, oh boy. Oh yeah, no, it gets better. We had a steel pipe with some slots in it. Um, you know, for ventilate. It was it literally was just a steel like three inch steel pipe. Uh, we set it. I forgot what we said. We set it on something, and then we took... You know those paint sprayers you hook up to air compressors? Yeah. The little tank on... Okay, yeah. So we took that. We put gas in the tank sprayer. Or in, in the paint sprayer. Um, so we sprayed it into the uh, the pipe, lit the pipe, and it actually was kind of cool. It sounded like a jet engine. It got the pipe blowing hot and everything. It, it sounded like one, but that's the extent of it. Um... And then what happened was there was some gas that we accidentally spilled, like, this, well, thankfully this is during winter, so there was snow everywhere. There was gas that was spilled on the ground, but I never realized it at the time, and I was walking through it. And eventually, the, um, uh, well, the flame reached my shoe, so both my shoes were engulfed in flames. And I had to quick jump in the snow pile. <laughs> nice. And that's how I've been set on fire. And as a side note, gasoline is not as flammable as you want it to be. Well, it's the vapor that it burn, is. it's not the liquid itself. Correct. When you want gas to light, it honestly does not want to light, unless the conditions are perfect. Well, you said this was in the winter, right? That, that had nothing to do with it. We just didn't have the, uh, we didn't have the, uh, is it the stoichiometry ratio right, I believe? So... Yeah, my guess would have been, you know, temperature was... Temp temperature would have been irrelevant. We just, uh, basically just trying to dump too much gas to it, like you just said. Well, the liquid doesn't ignite. It's the yeah. vapor that does. Sorry, we found the right com combination. <laughs> we got it alight. <laughs> that was back when gas was cheap and we could afford to do stupid shit like that. My, my thought would have been, you know, temperature had an effect on how much vapor was coming off of it, too. Oh, we just had to play around the air compressor a little bit. We got it to work. <laughs> a little bit too well. It was 100% pointless, but it was so damn cool to look at. <clears throat> oh, shenanigans. Back in the bad old days, before we were responsible adults. Now we are irresponsible adults. Yeah, but we have jobs. Well, I have a future wife. You're still sad and alone. Mm-hmm. That's about the size of it. You masturbate with your tears every night. Uh, pro, pro tip, tears are not actually a very good lubricant. <laughs> oh my god. Conversations we have on this show, ladies and gentlemen. The conversations we have in private. Yeah, those are worse. Those are much worse. <laughs> oh, man, I want a fishnet vest like that guy had. Oh, man, they're, they're like high school gangsta Power Rangers. They all have different co colored, uh... Ooh. Oh, shit, son. Oh, I wanted to actually decapitate all of them. Yeah, cool. fuck you. He is, he is protecting his buddy. Bro code. Protect your bros. Bros before hoes. Whoa. Is it just me or did it suddenly get like fuzzy for a sec there on the TV? I didn't notice anything. That was kind of weird. What did that guy just do? He like fell on the ground and that was it. I'll tell you what he just did. He done fucked up. God, for like a horrible, pathetic otaku, touchdown, touchdown's got the moves. 
It's like, can you really argue this guy's an Otaku if he can actually, actually fight and not No, he, like, Otaku isn't, like, you don't have to be a neat to be an Otaku. Okay, so they're not exclusive. Okay. It's, Otaku is a personality. Okay, so they don't, okay, I get you. Um, like, it usually leads to being a neat or a hikikomori. You know what? Let's talk more about this next time. I'm getting Otaku. Fuck yeah.